Debt yield is a metric that lenders use to determine what their unleveraged return would be if they had to foreclose on a particular property. So a lender gives a borrower a $10 million loan on a property that has $1 million of NOI. So if that lender divides net operating income, the $1 million, divided by the loan amount of 10 million, it says that their debt yield would be 10%. So lenders look for a margin of safety. They look for a cushion and they do this in a number of ways. Debt yield happens to be one of the metrics that they use. Other metrics that lenders use are loan to value, loan to cost, debt service coverage ratio, but a debt yield lets them know this is a static picture at closing. When we lend this borrower money, and if we were to foreclose in the future, at this moment in time, we would get a 10% return on our money for, for lending on this property. And so lenders generally like to look for the largest debt yield possible. And it's an interesting metric for them to know that they've got a very large margin of safety above and beyond what a market cap rate would be. So if they have to foreclose, they can spend the legal cost to do the foreclosure. And then ultimately when they get the property back, then when they sell it, they may be able to sell it at a better rate in the market if they keep that margin of safety higher. Now, one of the things that we like to look at is on a debt yield is that for the financing side of things, if we have less than a 10 debt yield for lenders, a lot of times we have to tell a story. Many times lenders are looking for a debt yield of 10% or above. The only property type where you generally see lenders being willing to accept less than a 10% regularly is on multifamily housing and the lenders might look for a seven, eight, nine percent debt yield, but the majority of lenders in the commercial space for industrial, for retail, for office, for student housing, for any specialty products is generally a 10% debt yield or higher. And so when a lender looks at these three metrics, the loan to value or loan to cost, the debt service coverage, and the debt yield, the lender will generally take the lower of those three metrics, and that would be the loan amount that the lender would feel comfortable lending on. So that is the debt yield in a nutshell. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please feel free to like, share, and also subscribe on our YouTube channel. And we'd be happy to present more information like this. Thanks so much.